Melbourne, Australia, April 28, Jared Pollock of the Power L in action during the Round 6 AFL match between the North Melbourne Kangaroos and Port Adelaide Power at Etihad Stadium on April 28, 2018 in Melbourne, Australia. Photo by Graham Denholm, AFL Media, Hawthorne's Tom Mitchell has regained his spot at the top of the AFL fantasy standings but he has a new challenger in the form of Melbourne Ruckman Max Gunn. Mitchell was back to his prolific best with 45 disposals and 7 marks in the Hawks' comfortable win over St Kilda. He tallied a remarkable 147 fantasy points, equal with Collingwood's Adam Treloris the second top scorer of the round. Gone was superb for the Demons in their come-from-behind win over Essendon. He had 42 hitouts to go with 6 marks, 16 disposals and 2 goals for a total of 135 fantasy points. Port Adelaide's Jared Pollock beat Althamers to be the league's best puller for round 6 with 156 points, taking him to 13th overall scorer in the league. Jared Pollock, mid $688,000, Pollock is in career best form, averaging 28 disposals, 10 contested possessions, 3 clearances, 6 marks and 4 tackles. Against North Melbourne he had a game-high 34 disposals to go with 5 marks, 12 tackles and a goal. His 156 AFL fantasy points was way above his average of 108.3 AFL fantasy points per round and he has now added $105,000 to his overall value since the start of the season. Picked in just 1196 teams in the competition, at $6,352 per point, he represents good value that will likely see him become more popular. Justin Westhoff, mid, FWD $670,000, Westhoff just keeps on keeping on, and he plays so many different roles. The reliable utility had 25 touches and 4 hitouts as well as 8 marks and a goal. His performance saw him score 113 fantasy points, slightly above his 105-point average. Westhoff has won Port Adelaide's third most popular player with fantasy coaches being selected in 10388 teams, a 2,388 increase on last week. His value has also increased $11,000 since last week. Robbie Gray, FWD $690,000, Gray's value has gone up $118,000 since the start of the season, second only to Dom Barry at Port Adelaide. He added 101 fantasy points in the win over North Melbourne, and while that was below his 110.4 point average, his value and popularity continues to increase. Last week Gray was in 14600 fantasy teams, this week he is in 32378, a massive change, making him the second most popular player at Alberton. The 30-year-old had 23 touches, 7 marks, 5 tackles and a goal against the Kangaroos and was one of 5 power players to clear the 100 fantasy point barrier. At $6,250 per point scored, Gray is third cheapest at Port Adelaide only behind Barry and Aiden Johnson, who played his first game of the season on Saturday. Brad Ebert mid $670,000, Port Adelaide's Mr. Reliable, Ebert doesn't always get the accolades he deserves but against the Kangaroos he was brilliant. He racked up 33 touches and 6 marks to go with 11 tackles, giving him a total of 137 fantasy points. Given he is averaging 98.8 points this season, it was a pretty special performance from the 28-year-old. Ebert is now Port Adelaide's third-highest scorer, and while his overall value is down $54,000 since the start of the season, his price went up $24,000 after the weekend's game and there are signs that will continue. Ebert is not very popular with coaches though, having been picked in just 495 AFL fantasy teams. Port Adelaide best for round 6 Jared Pollock 156 Brad Ebert 137 Justin Westhoff 113 Sam Gray 111 Robbie Gray 101 Port Adelaide top 5 for 2018 Jared Pollock 650 Justin Westhoff 630 Brad Ebert 593 Robbie Gray 552 Ollie Wines 536